Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to another video in our Catalan Studio video series. And today we'll be talking about working with API testing in Catalan Studio 5.4 for put request. So we have been discussing about API testing with Catalan Studio like get request and post request in our couple of videos that we saw before. And today we'll be talking about put request. So let's get started. So the objective of this video is to create and put request to our existing MyJSON server and verify if the existing data has been updated. So this is a very very simple objective and we have already created a infrastructure for how to work with the existing MyJSON server by creating a request and verify things of that nature. So everything is already there in our Catalan Studios project. So it'll be just upgrading or maybe creating a new test case and just verifying the request using put and verify how things are working. All right, so let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm gonna flip to Catalan Studio. All right, so this is the same project which we have been working so long in our previous video so far. And in our last video, we created a post request, something like this. And we also verified the post request response using this code. So this time we are gonna work with the put request. So for that, once again, I'm going to create a web service request for the put and the URL is going to be pretty much the same thing that we saw earlier in our previous video, like last time, which is nothing but the uh, local server 3000. So you can see that post if I do this. So this is the uh, URL. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to hit OK. That's it. So this is the only simple uh, way of creating a put request here. But before doing a put, let's quickly see this in Postman and understand how to make use of the uh, put statement. So I'm just going to uh, open the Postman here and this time we're going to make use of put statement. So I have already executed that. As you can see here, I use this put of the localhost colon 3000 post slash 4. So the 4 is nothing but the 4th post of the particular application we're going to upgrade, which is nothing but this one. So let's say we have three posts here. So I'm going to upgrade this Catalan Studio record and playback to maybe Catalan Studio API testing or something like that. Then we can just go over here and put three in the body. I'm just going to say, uh, let's copy this Catalan Studio. And then if I try to uh, execute this, maybe I need to change this ID to three and send it. There you go. You can see it has been updated. So the status is OK. So now if I refresh this page, you can see it has changed to Catalan Studio API testing, which is cool. So our MyJSON server is as usual running. Uh, so there is no problem on that. So all good now. So I'm just going to minimize these things. And we're going to do exactly the same thing using Catalan Studio as well. So I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to go all the way over here to the body. And I'm going to change the request type from get to put. And this is the body. And yeah, let's say Catalan Studio API and UI testing, something like that. And let this be three. And I'm going to change this to three as well. And the content type is going to be application JSON. I'm going to save this. So you can see that everything is all good. And now if I try to uh, test this request, you can see that it is 200. And it seems like it has been upgraded, so uh, updated. So now if I just go and refresh this page, the Catalan Studio API testing is going to turn from uh, this one to API and UI testing. So if I refresh this, you can see it has been modified. That's really cool. So it's, everything is working from Catalan Studio UI as well. So now I'm just going to go all the way here to the test case. And then I'm going to create a new test case this time. And let's call this as create and and verify put and I'm gonna hit OK so uh, in order to save some time maybe I'm just gonna cheat by copying some of the code which we have already written which is gonna be very very simple for us so I'm just gonna copy all the code from the post and then I'm gonna paste all the way over here just gonna be very very simple the only thing is for the post object I'm gonna change it to put object and this one is gonna be changed to put as well and uh, let's change this ID uh, from, let's say, 20 to 3. And uh, this one is going to be 
uh, let's change this to AP Appium maybe. Uh, so it was Catalan uh, API and UI testing. So it's going to be Appium this time and let the author be there. And uh, set the body content is going to be always the same. But just that if you have noticed in our put request that we did, if you go to the uh, put object repository, we have passed this uh, post of slash three here. So if you don't pass this one, what will happen is it is not going to work as expected. So let's say if I remove this and if I try to run this one, you can see we'll get a 404 not found exception. So basically we have to pass this three, uh, which is nothing but the post ID. If not, the put is not going to work. So what if I don't really pass this one? So what will happen if I don't have this particular option over here? So let's say if I only have uh, this one and if I try to run this, the code is not going to work, right? So how to handle this situation? So there are two ways that we can handle this situation and let's quickly discuss each of them one by one. So if I go to the put code here and if I go to the script, so there is an option available in our code, in our request, something like request dot and there is an option called set you can just uh, verify you can see there is an option called set rest URL so you can pass the full URL here as well so the URL can be this one directly something like this and you can hard code the value to 3 here something like this and this one will work so basically you're directly passing the whole URL here and you're trying to update that particular value. So let's quickly uh, see this and verify if it really works. So basically I'm just going to set this uh, all together here and let's change this ID to three because this is what the verification is going to happen. So I'm going to save this and now if I run this particular code, Oops, it seems like it has failed, but the reason is very, very simple. Uh, it is expecting for APMs, I guess. So let me cancel this. So if I go over here, oops, it is APMs. This is what we verified in our last video. So now let me run this again. So it seems like the test is actually working fine. So you can see that the test is also got passed, which is fine. And if I go back to the Edge browser, and if I refresh this page, you can see it has changed to Appium. So this is a very, very hard coded way of passing the uh, rest URL over here. But how to work with the dynamic value? Because this three is not going to be three most of the time. It is going to be dynamic. So we're going to change this particular value every time. Well, Catalan Studio has spread an option. If you go to the put here, you can put a parameter here, something like this. So post ID. So it can be anything you can give here. So it doesn't matter. So you can give whatever name that you want. And let's try to remove this because it's not required here. Just going to save it. And once again, you can change this to application uh, JavaScript. Sorry, application JSON. And save it. So here, instead of this set URL, which is the hard coded value, there is an option where you can read the HTTP URL from the request and then you can replace the post ID that we created in the braces there to what we are expecting. So basically we are going to replace this post ID that we are seeing here to the value that we are looking for. So I'm just going to copy this guy and let's go here to the script. So it's going to be something like this request dot. So you can see as I said there is an option called get rest URL. So you can get the rest URL from here and then you can store this particular value in a variable and then you can replace this value to the value that you're looking for. So I'm just going to replace this to URL dot using the replace method but you can see the intelligence is somehow not coming here which is fine and then I'm just going to paste the post ID here and I'm going to replace this to the ID that I'm passing in, which is nothing but three in our case. So once this is done, then I need to set the rest URL that is hard coded here, pretty much like this, right? So I'm just going to do the exact same thing, but this time I'm just going to pass the URL. I'm going to save it, right? 
and also try to change this uh, value from uh, the integer to string because that's what we kind of paste here so it's appiums and this is going to be appiums as well it's all good so let's quickly run this and see what's really happening so now it should run the test and it should get passed and you can see that it is working fine so this way we can see that we can run or replace the value dynamically instead of just hard coding the URL something like this. So this is how we can do a, a put request from Catalan Studio as well. So that's easy it is. So that's it guys. Once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.